Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for the month of October. Um, yeah, this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings, we will see whatever comes up. We're going to start with this deck, it's the Grand Lux, then we're going to clarify with that New Era Elements Tarot deck. Um... This reading may not be for you. I can't resonate with every single person. Um, we'll see what comes up for you, Pisces, for the month of October. If this reading makes you confused, it's not for you. If you don't believe in the tarot, it's not for you. If you don't like the reading, oh well. <laughs> Somebody doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. There's unfair treatment here. Bad karma. Bad karma. Now, something isn't final yet. It's not final. There's also, there's, there's a dishonesty. Somebody's not being honest. Oh, God. Bad karma. I'm <laughs> sorry. Bad karma, bad luck. You know, I can't make this shit up. I can't change it. A lot of you are going to be like, oh, oh, I don't want to hear that. That's not true. You're biased. No. Feel free to look up the cards. I'm not being biased. Bad karma, bad luck. What goes around comes around. Believe it. Oh, and you're stuck, eh? There you are. You're stuck. You're in limbo. You don't know what to do. Now, the hangman is about needing to see things through a new perspective. Need, needing to be enlightened. I mean, that you're gonna, this, a change is needed. A change is needed. You have to look at things differently. And, but if you continue to stay where you're at, this is what you're gonna get. And I know that you guys are really set in your ways. It's, it's, I know that you are. But trying to fight destiny, trying to fight fate, not doing the right thing, is not going to bring you a reward. It's not. You have to master your emotions. You have to replace that fear with faith. You know, saying to somebody that there's always a chance. There's always a chance. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, this is replace fear with faith. Facing opposition. Dealing with the opposition. You see they're op they're opposing each other these two horses. Black and white. Yeah. There's a black horse and there's a white horse. You could call it the devil and the angel. You could. There's an opportunity for them to come together if you could just steer it in the right direction. But that's going to take faith to do so. You have to believe that it will work, okay? If you don't believe, then, well, you know, I can't change that. Insecurities, needing to put in effort. You need to work on it, like I said. If you put in effort, there's an opportunity for stability and security. There is. Baby steps. Baby steps. You could be receiving a message or an offer from somebody that wants to offer you something stable and solid. But you think it's a risk, right? You do. You think it's too much of a risk. Do I, do I dare? 
Do I dare to step down off of this tree? Do I dare to step down and, and put in effort? Oh God. Or do I want to just continue to, to, to hide? Because it looks like you want to go back. Somebody wants to go back. But it's a gamble. They don't want to be held accountable. Therefore, they're bringing, uh, you know, this is bad luck into their life. Because they're cheating themselves. It's an injustice. It absolutely is. You know, I feel as though... <laughs> There's a contract that is dissolving because somebody doesn't want to put in any effort. They're cheating themselves, cheating themselves out of love. There's lack of awareness here. Refusing to wake up, okay? Lack of awareness. A lot of self-doubt, doubting that, that there could be victory and success. But this is a test. This is a test. It's a test of your strength. The card, the chariot card is a card of strength. It's a test of your perseverance. It's a, te it's a test of your... ability to master your emotions and, and go in the direction that your heart wants you to go. We're going to get the clarifiers now. I'm not even sure if I zoomed. So Pisces, I feel like there's an opportunity here for you to move, to make a big move with this chariot card. But it's going to take effort. You have to stop. This is clinging to control, wanting to be in control. You need to stop trying to control destiny. You can't. I mean, you can. But when you try to control destiny, this is karma. This is destiny. This is fate. These are both karma and this is good luck upright, reversed, it's bad luck. So, I mean, hey, you when you try to control destiny, it's going to bring you struggle. It's going to make you struggle. It is. You're only cheating yourself and you're going to continue to, they're going to make it uncomfortable for you. They are uncomfortable that you're going to be on thin ice until you put in effort to come out of hiding. There's something you want to go back to. There is. But it would take a lot of work to go back, wouldn't it? It would take a lot of work and effort and you'd have to you'd have to come down. You'd have to come down from where you're at. Ooh, the Empress. Imagine that. You got a beautiful woman. Okay, this is a beautiful woman, and I mean beautiful inside and outside. Uh, this is, this is a woman. This could be you, Pisces, if you're a Pisces woman. Who knows what you're worth? This is a woman. If you're a man, this is the woman you're thinking about. This is not a man. This is a woman, okay? Or if you are a Pisces woman, this is you. Knowing what you are worth. If you are a Pisces man, this is the woman that you are thinking about. Taurus, Libra. This woman could be another, any other sign, but this woman 
It is very nurturing, caring, loving, abundant. She can do it all. She can do it all. And she has multiple opportunities. She does. Everybody wants this woman. So if this is you, Pisces, woman, you are looking very, very beautiful and you are projecting a very beautiful energy at this time. Because the Empress draws people to her because of her beauty. Her inner and her outer beauty. Okay? She's both. And she draws people to her. So whether this is you, Pisces woman, or, or for the men, if this is the other woman, be rest assured that you are the pick of the litter. Somebody may be, if you are the Pisces woman, if this is you, somebody may be wanting to go back to you. Somebody's wanting to go back, either way. Somebody is wanting to go back. Here we have, um, somebody's not being logical. Imagine that. Somebody, this is illogical. Not making a wise decision. <laughs> right up here with this. Bad luck and bad karma. And it's probably a man. Okay? Because I'm no longer going to pretend that these cards can be man or woman. If it's a man, it's a man. It's a woman. I'm done with that shit. Okay? We're going to get fucking real here with my readings. There's a man that is being illogical. Hurting this woman. On purpose. So from now on, when you guys watch my readings, it's going to be like this for all the signs. If I see a man, it's a man. If it's a woman, it's a woman. And I've thought about this for a while now. There's no more trying to change it up and make it fit just for you. Okay? That's, that's, a, that's fake to me. I'm not going to play that game. There's a man here that's not being logical. And we have a woman here that's beautiful. Beautiful. And she knows what she's worth. And her hard work is paying off. There we go. So we have this man that is really holding in in his emotions. He's mastering his emotions. He's not really communicating he, he's he's really keeping his emotions in check because his heart is involved right he's trying to be wise he's really focused on his job at this time Trying to remain focused. Trying to remain positive. Now that's the Four of Swords reversed. but unable to, to call a truce, unable to make a decision. There's a lot of indecisiveness, unable to make a choice. There could be two options here. There could be, you may have a choice between two people. This could be for a man or a woman. I don't know where that came from, but it just came to me that there's two options here. Okay. I think that there is a man that is very strong. We have a very strong man in this picture who is a very hard worker. 
and knows how to control himself, keeps himself under control emotionally, is able to uh, hold back his communication in order to keep things in check. Um, Now this card and this card are the same cards, it's both the Eight of Pentacles. There's an opportunity, this is the Ten of Cups, there's an opportunity for happiness and bliss if you put in effort, if you work as a team. If you don't give up, if you stick together. And you know, that's what I was thinking the other day. There's no end. There's no end. There really isn't. You know, you can say that there's no more chances. You've got all the chances you're going to get. You can say that. That's not the case. The chances never end when it's love. All it takes is extra effort and hard work, right? It does. Now, this one right here, the father of fire, that's, I mean, the emperor is put in there. It's about control. It's about control. It's not about control. It's about working together. It's about working together. And this is about working together as well. There's a, there's a lesson here. It takes compromising. It takes working together for something to work out. But somebody is still refusing to wake up. I don't think it's her. Some, yeah, it's going to continue to get uncomfortable. The universe will make it uncomfortable until you wake up. You really this is this is a time of, of really thinking. You know, and I think that you guys are probably confused at this time. Maybe you're trying to escape reality. There could be some deception here. I'm not ready to reveal I'm not ready to reveal the truth. I'm not ready to have a truce. I'm not ready to have anything solid. But you know, escaping reality can only last for so long. This is an opportunity for happiness. That is the Four of Wands. It's an opportunity for commitment. This is for the woman, the Pisces woman. You have an opportunity to, to come together, to come together with somebody. Because you've worked hard. The Pisces woman has worked really hard. And there's an opportunity for happiness here and commitment. There is. Perhaps somebody wants to go back. For the Pisces man, the Pisces man is hurting a woman who wants a commitment. Pisces man, because that's him taking on this energy, is, is hurting a woman who wants a commitment and wants to be happy. Yeah, it is somebody from the past in both circumstances. This is Six of Cups. Happiness lies in the past, and I can't pretend, and you shouldn't be either. Somebody is lying to themselves, and that is the damn fucking truth.
there's an opportunity for victory and success here if somebody would, would actually make a move. Somebody needs to make a move. The universe is going to continue to make it uncomfortable until you make a decision to follow your heart This is this, I mean, the hey man is you. It's about struggle. It's about facing this. You have to face the struggle and look at things from a new perspective. This is the master of non attachment, resisting change, clinging to control, not wanting to be held accountable. I mean, I can't pretend that it's all beautiful. When you have to make the change, you have to make the change. Now the chariot card is a card of transformation. It's also a card of a fast movement, quick movement. Somebody needs to move a lot faster than they are. Because there is something going on behind the scenes. Don't think that the universe doesn't see what's going on and that they're not going to help this beautiful woman. So if you are a Pisces woman, happiness is coming. If you are a man that is hurting another woman, happiness is coming for this woman. You better get your ass in gear. You don't have to. You don't have to. If you don't, then it will be uncomfortable for you. So for the Pisces woman, there could be a reconciliation with somebody from your past. For the Pisces man, it could be the same thing. Okay, so we, this is this is the past, and it's connected to the man and the woman. I mean, I can't, you know, I know that you guys are in denial and you don't want to hear this shit and whatever. I really, I mean, I, it's whatever. Sometimes the past could be somebody from the way past. It doesn't have to be the last person that you were with. But for many of you it is because I see that there is love here. And there's a karmic situation. Okay. There is. There's destiny at work. Destiny and karma that needs to be dealt with. I'm telling you, I'm telling you what. If you don't act with integrity, if you don't do the right thing, don't expect anything good to come out of it. There's an opportunity for happiness here. With the perfect person, with that perfection card, there is. There is. But it's all about love, okay? It's all about love. And that's the only thing it's about. The Empress is only about love. She's not about anything else, really. She's ruled by Venus, the goddess of love. When you put love above everything else... There's no failure. That's when these two cards will flip around. But when you put love above everything else, you can't hurt people in the process. Mm. 
there's that magician reverse. There's deception here. There's lies. There's, there's manipulation. I'm sorry. Somebody is, is not telling the truth. And it's going to bring them bad luck. So I feel as though... <laughs> I mean, you could be having somebody from your past that is trying to... stop you from moving forward. That could be the case as well. You could have somebody from the past that is trying to manipulate you into going back. Could go many ways, right? There's a beautiful woman in this mix who knows what she's worth. But she's being manipulated. This woman is being manipulated. Why? Why? Because somebody is clinging to control. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's hidden agendas here. Somebody's not listening. Somebody is not listening to their higher power. They're not listening to their intuition. They're, they're not... They're keeping it a secret. They're keeping their true feelings a secret from this woman. And it's going to bring them bad luck because she's worthy. She's worthy. Yeah. Same card. Okay, somebody is... They're not passing the test. They're not. The Knight of Coins is a test to me. Okay, that Son of Earth, same card. They're not passing the test. The Karmic test. You see, it's right on karma. Somebody is not passing the Karmic test in regards to somebody from their past. Lying to themselves, but whatever. I mean, we got to change this story. Um... There's a woman here who is gonna is going to get what she deserves. She is going to get what she deserves. I don't know when. I don't know when. Because right now she's being manipulated. The woman in this dynamic is being manipulated. She's being held back by something. But everybody can see her beauty. So this woman is beautiful. Whoever the woman is in this dynamic. Um, and she's, she's going to get what she deserves. Okay. Her, she's going to get that. She's going to, she's seeing things clearly. She, this is the ace of swords. This is power. This is, um, truth. This is the sword of power and truth. So, oh God, somebody has been ripped apart. She has been ripped apart. Oh, God, I feel so... It makes me sick. It really does. So, for Pisces women, you are being given back your power. Your power is going to come back. For the other woman in the dynamic, her, she's going to take her power back. She is going to take her power back. After being treated so, so, so badly by another person. I mean, this is the Nine of Swords being ripped apart. But the Aces, they're gifts from above, okay? So it looks as though... I mean, this sword is also the sword that cuts. So she may cut... you apart I mean I'm just saying if, if you're dealing with a woman that knows her worth she may end up ripping you apart because you're living in fantasy land 
Yeah. Ace of Pentacles reversed. This is throwing away an opportunity, throwing away a, a golden opportunity. Throwing away stability, security, abundance. Because somebody needs to find the confidence to take the steps that are needed to bring balance and harmony back to their lives. You need to work hard to get to where you need to go. There's an opportunity to work together, but you have to try. There's an opportunity for success hard work I mean work hard work is needed you have to put in effort instead of not putting in effort trying to clinging to control there's something going on behind the scenes here you're being tested you are absolutely being tested your perseverance is being tested your ability to stick it out to stick it out in climate weather you know your ability to really put in effort and not give up is being tested and you ain't passing the fucking test anyway now the empress is about birth so if you are a Pisces woman, you've reached that point of renewal. And awakening. I don't have the Ace of Cups. I don't have the Two of Cups. So I don't I don't know if there's love here at this time. I don't I don't think there is. I mean, I think that there's an opportunity for happiness with somebody from your past because we have the Six of Cups and we have the Ten of Cups. There's an opportunity with somebody from your past for happiness. But somebody's not taking action. They're not doing the right thing. Whether it's you or the man. I think it's the man. I think it's the man in, in, in the whole situation. I think it's the man that needs to make a move for the, for, you know, the, and, and whether it's the Pisces man or the man for the Pisces woman. The man is not doing the right thing. He does not have integrity. The man in this reading does not have integrity. The woman is beautiful. And she deserves happiness. And she will get her happiness. This is deserving. She will get her happiness after she gets, throws away this opportunity that is she can't touch, she can't have. When she throws that opportunity away that she can't have because this person, this man doesn't have any integrity, she will get what she deserves. She will get that opportunity to climb that mountain with somebody else. You know, she will. She will get because she's a beautiful, the woman in this dynamic is beautiful. The woman has worked hard. She has. She has. She's awoken. She's awoken up. The man. No. Both. Both still. The past is affecting both man and women. So just got to say that. 
Um, there's an opportunity for victory and success either way. Probably with, I mean, we have Cancer. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Pisces. We have them all, really. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again. We have Libra. We have Scorpio. We have them all. It doesn't really matter. This is Taurus, Libra. Pisces. I feel like this is a month of bad luck, unfortunately. For, because, I mean, look at this shit. I mean, I can't. I'm not going to tell you that this is good. Okay? Because it ain't. I'm, you know, you want you want somebody to fill you up with a pile of shit, then feel free. You know, to live in that dream state. Okay, if you want to live in that dream state, feel free. That's escapism. Somebody does not want to be held accountable for their actions. Clinging to control. And it's bringing them bad karma and bad luck. Wondrous universe. Walk in beauty. You live in a beautiful and wondrous universe. You are a beautiful being. Take time to see and cherish the wonders of life wherever you go. It transforms your life. Remember I said there's a beautiful woman here. <sighs> there is a remarkable beauty within you. Simply acknowledging it allows it to surface even more. The time you take to create beauty in your home will manifest in your life, in your native traditions. In native traditions, walking in beauty means to honor all the natural cycles of life and to experience a sacred communion with the Creator in all things, including oneself. There's always beauty around you and within you. It's funny because this is for the Pisces. Yeah, the Pisces woman has reached full potential. Anyway. There's always beauty around you and within you. The sacred traveler constantly looks for and embraces the majestic, wondrous universe in all forms. You can hear it in the song of an early morning bird. You can smell it in the aroma of freshly baked bread. And you can see it in the way the clouds float across the sky. The more you seek beauty, the more it will find you. And the more you will find yourself in a beautiful world. And it totally makes sense, even for the Pisces man, because if you if you if you don't seek out that beauty, true beauty, you know, inner, outer, the abundance, realness, this is what you're gonna get. Beauty is actually love, okay? It is. The Empress is ruled by Venus, which is the goddess of love, okay? So it is beauty, okay? So it's all it's pretty much the same. There's an opportunity to make it right. But it's going to take a lot of work. And somebody doesn't want to do the work. That's what I have. 